This is episode 184. Is your content not really reaching your audience? Maybe you're publishing, but no one is seeing it. There is a solution to fix this. You need to spread your content around to multiple channels. This is the fourth of my five-part series where I will discuss the five things that you need to do to publish successful content. So let's get started. Welcome to the Calm Marketer Podcast. My name is Kenneth Fong, a digital marketer on a mission to help businesses thrive. I'll bring you on my marketing journey where you'll get to learn from my experiences as an INFP navigating an extroverted world and get actionable marketing tips for your business. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Now let's begin. All right, I wanted to start off by letting all of my podcast listeners know that moving forward, you can now watch these uh, podcast episodes. So yes, I am recording not only audio, but visual as well. So if you want to be the first to receive the videos of these episodes, all you need to do is go to the calmmarketer.co forward slash video. That's the calmmarketer.co forward slash video. And you will be able to get all of the videos sent to your inbox. So today I wanted to talk about the fourth tip in creating successful content. Now, I wanna talk about an issue that a lot of content creators face, including myself. And that's the issue of reaching your audience, uh, the most people as possible that are in your audience, and also reaching them at the right moments and on the right platforms. So ask yourself this, um, or let me tell you this about how I consume content. So for me, you know, I'm always consuming content, right? You consume content all the time as well. For me, I like to listen to podcasts and audiobooks um, in the mornings, um, while I'm driving, while I'm doing laundry, doing chores at home. Um, I love just listening to audiobooks and podcasts. And when it comes to video, I like to watch video um, while I'm at lunch, also in the um, evenings. And I also like to read articles later in the evenings as well. And sometimes um, in the mornings, well, specifically in the mornings as I'm learning about marketing and also figuring out what to talk about in these episodes. So I do read in the mornings as well. So in terms of the platforms and websites, you know, I'm on Facebook throughout the day. I'm on TikTok towards the afternoon, mid-afternoon, in the evenings. So I use different platforms in different parts of the day. Now you need to ask yourself, how do you consume content, right? Because you are always consuming content and you're consuming different types of content throughout the day. And you need to figure out your audience, how they consume content as well. Because depending on how they consume content, you need to be sending out the content to the right to the right uh, platforms so you can reach them at different moments of their lives right so um, that's a huge issue that that a lot of content creators face for me I'm starting to get in the habit of pushing out my content through other mediums as as clearly as you know right so I'm recording on anchor anchor anchor.fm and you know that I recently launched my YouTube channel and I've been publishing specific content on my YouTube channel and I'm also repurposing these audios into video. So this is a prime clear example of how you can spread your content around to multiple channels and that's exactly what I'm doing um, with this podcast. So in the beginning when I was uh, moving these episodes into video format. Now it's a lot of work. So I recommend you start in the very beginning uh, 
and, tr and turning these into video it does take a lot of time. And now just starting this week, you know that I'm recording the visuals to these episodes. So now I'm kind of improving upon all of this content that I'm creating, right? But my core, the main area is my audio, the podcast, and then I'm spreading it out uh, to YouTube. Now, in terms of the next step that I personally want to do is start my website. So I know I've been holding off on uh, creating a website for this podcast, partly because I get stuck on, you know, like for me as an INFP, like I'm a very creative person, which is good, but also at the same time, it might hold me back in terms of, okay, how do I want the website to look like? Um, what colors I'm gonna be using? How is the homepage gonna be looking like? And I just am, I'm ner not nervous, but I don't wanna go into that whole rabbit hole, but I do know I need to do that and not worry too much about the aesthetics in the beginning. And the second part of why I am holding off is because I need to figure out an easy way to create new pages for all of these episodes. So I'm nearing 200 episodes. So that basically means that I might need to create 200 pages on my website. So that's a huge task, uh, but but we'll see what happens. But that's my, my task to myself is creating a website for this podcast. You know, I'm already creating, um, publishing on YouTube um, and also um, social media as well, which I'm trying to do. Um, but but yeah, what you want to do is just really um, spread your content around, right, on multiple channels. So, and this goes with social media as well, right? So if you are on Facebook, you want to publish on your Facebook page, um, on, a, on your Facebook group, on your personal Facebook profile. If you are on Instagram, you wanna post on your feed, on stories, on IGTV, um, and the guides feature that they have, and then on TikTok, you know, publish on TikTok as well. So just really repurposing your content, right? And the beauty of this is that all of the content isn't different. It's all the same. So if you record an audio, you can basically create a video on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, right? But it's the exact same audio. Or with YouTube, once you record a YouTube video, you can publish it every everywhere on social media and different websites or on your own website. So great way to, um, to just record one time and then just spread it out across all the areas where your audience hangs out, all right? So um, if you want to be part of a group that is creating content, um, I am kind of going into this TikTok, learning about TikTok and publishing on TikTok. Um, I'm part of a group called The Elites. It's, ho it's ran by uh, Chase Reiner. He's an SEO expert and he's teaching us how to use TikTok and YouTube to, um, to reach our audience to grow our audience and to ultimately uh, sell affiliate products. So I'm going into affiliate marketing more and more, and that's all because of the Elite's uh, Facebook group. If you wanna learn more, just go to thecalmmarketer.co forward slash chase. That's thecalmmarketer.co forward slash chase to learn more about the Elite's uh, Facebook group. So you can join me there if you want to. Now, if you are enjoying this podcast, um, I invite you to rate this podcast. You know, let me know what you think. Uh, go to ratethispodcast.com forward slash the calm marketer. That's ratethispodcast.com forward slash the calm marketer. All right. So with that said, I will speak to you tomorrow where I will be discussing the last and final tip for successful content creation. So I will see you on the next episode.